Recently, several farmers complained that the high health tiger shrimp sourced from approved hatcheries is not performing up to the expectations. In this video, I will explain to you what is the real problem, its etiology and the treatment options available. Before going to the topic, a brief introduction about me. My name is Ravi Kumar Amirneni. I am an aquatic animal healthcare specialist and partner at Alpha Biologicals. Alpha Biologicals is a leading probiotics and aquatic animal healthcare products manufacturer in India. The following clinical science was reported by many farmers. Poor growth, increased external fouling at the early stages, some shrimp turned to blue in color, loose shell, shrimp coming to sides, increased size variation, yellow fecal matter visible in midgut. Upon microscopic observation, it was found that shrimps were heavily infected with worm-like organisms. These organisms resemble nematodes, but are actually protozoan parasites called gregarines. The infection severity is graded as 4. These organisms obstruct the gut functions and derive its nutrition from the shrimp, leading to poor nutrition and slow growth. In some cases, it may lead to the secondary bacterial problems exacerbating the situation. The infection spreads through the oral route with the two intermediate hosts identified so far, bivalves and polychaete worms. So coming to the control measures. Control measures include properly drying the soil after harvest, applying burnt lime on the pond bottom, properly disinfecting the water to eliminate all these intermediate hosts like bivalves and polychaete worms. If gregarine infection is detected during culture, herbal products like garlic paste can be tried. In the past, during early days of EMS, there was confusion between gregarines and ATM aggregated transformed microvilli. Both ATM and gregarines look similar. You can appreciate from this picture. On the left, it is gregarine. On the right, it is ATM. Both look similar, right? So people thought that EMS is due to gregarines and garlic paste was suggested to treat EMS. In the shrimp book edited by Victoria Alday, the use of anti-coccidial drug was suggested, but specific drugs are not mentioned. There are no approved drugs for uh, gregarines in India so far. Hence, herbal products like garlic are recommended at present. That's all for this edition. Thanks for watching. For further information, you can contact us on our email raviacquaidgmail.com or you can contact me through my WhatsApp at uh, 9848663776. Best of luck.